Among the Americans caught up in this war, two Tyler natives studying abroad in a high school semester program in Israel. KLTV 7's Lauren Tier spoke to them both while they were in Israel last week and again today after they made it home safely to Texas. The night before all this happened, we were at Shabbat services dancing and singing and like going crazy. But just a few hours later, and we heard the sirens and we were looking outside. We didn't like we, we couldn't process until we like heard a Boom. Yes. 15 year old Vera Banta and 18 year old Rebecca Katz, Rabbi Neil Katz's daughter, were in and out of the bomb shelter seven times before noon that day. A few days later, they were told to pack up just one checked bag, forcing most of them to donate half of what they brought. The campus that we were leaving, it was like as soon as we were leaving, the, some displaced families from the south were coming to live in the, our dorms. So like a lot of the stuff we donated went directly to them, which was nice. So it wasn't like going to waste. They heard sirens up until hours before their flight left the Ben Gurion Airport in Israel. Before they could get on their flight, they again had to shelter. After just 50 days in the country, they are back home in Tyler. Their first connecting flight was in Rome, but even there the girls say they were paranoid. Just on the off chance that there would be some like anti-Semitic people near us, we didn't want to draw too much attention to our group while we were in Rome. From there, the group flew to Boston. Once we got back, we like all had to split up in the terminals right after that, which was hard. Yeah, that was really hard. After flying to Dallas, the girls got to Tyler less than a week ago. So we got back Thursday night, and then Friday night, we both decided to go to Temple. In spite of anti-Semitism, there was actually a really, a really um, big attendance. Like a lot of people came to yeah. synagogue on Friday, and even, although we like, and we had two cops, so I felt yeah. safer, but it was also scary to like see that we needed that. two cops. Yeah. Despite their terrifying first-hand experiences, both girls plan to return to Israel. Like the experience I had didn't, if anything, it grew my love for Israel, didn't diminish it. Like I, it comes with its challenges, but I loved it. Lauren Tier, KLTV 7 News. Now, originally, the girls were not supposed to be home until December when that program was set to end. At the